what's up, Squares? Today we are here at Mont mm, Montgomery. What's up, Squids? Welcome back to the channel. I am here at Montgomery Cycle Center. I wanted to see what new bikes they have. And they have the 2023 Kawasaki ZX-10R, the KTR edition. So I'm saying, you know what? Let's film that bike and get it up on the channel. Let's go. Okay guys, this dealership is located in Hatsville, PA, off US 309 on the south side. They service the greater Delaware Valley with power sports such as motorcycles, dirt bikes, ATVs, side-by-sides, and scooters. Carry-on brands like BMW, Ducati, Honda, Kawasaki, Scrambler, Ducati, Suzuki, and Yamaha. The Ninja ZX-10R Sport Bike is built for those who rise to the challenge. Hailing from the proven grounds of the FMLI World SBX Championship, the Ninja ZX-10R is the direct result of decades of world-class racing innovation. Carrying Kawasaki Racing Team rider Jonathan Rhea to six consecutive championship titles. Our experience on the track has led to a potent 998 four-cylinder engine, a racing optimized chassis, and an innovative electronic package. Push your limits abroad. The Ninja ZX-10R. This ZX-10R is rocking in 998cc 4-stroke inline 4 Dosh 16 valve liquid cool engine. It comes with a 6-speed trans with a return shift and it's chain driven. Moving on to the wheels of this model. It comes with a 17 inch front wheel with a 120 by 70 16 tire and in the rear and the rear comes with the same 17 inch wheel and a 190 by 55 17 tire. The front brakes are dual semi floating 399 millimeter disc with a dual radar mounted mono block for piston Brembo caliper. And in the rear, a single 220mm disc with an aluminum single piston Nissan caliper. Okay, let's take a look at the suspension on this bike. This model carries two Showa 43mm inverted balance free forks with adjustable stepless rebound and compression dampening, spring preload adjustability with 4.7 inches of travel. The rear is a horizontal back link with balance free gas charge shock, stepless, dual range low high speed compression dampening setless rebound dampening fully adjustable spring preload at 4.3 inches of travel jesus that was a mouthful <laughs> okay guys i am 510 with a 32 inch inseam and the height of this bike is 32.9 inches Okay guys, you can see the rider triangle on this bike. I am leaned over. I am touching the ground, but my knees are slightly bent. If you are a shorter rider, you may have to be on tiptoes or lean this bike over at stoplights. This bike has a curb weight of 452 pounds and a fuel capacity of 4.5 gallons. Okay guys, if you're looking to car some canyons or beat up some twisties, this bike has a rate of 25.5 degrees and a trail of 4.1 inches. Okay guys, at the time of filming this bike, we were unable to find the key for the bike. So I could not turn on the bike to light up the display or look at the lights on the bike to show you the LEDs. But what I was able to do, I was able to find the user's manual for this bike. So let's quickly go over the dash on this bike. Now starting at page 44, we can see here on number one is a shift indicator. Number two is obviously the display. Number three is the left meter button. 
Number four is the right meter button. And number five is the ambient brightness sensor. And now we're gonna make our way over to page 45. At number one here, you can see the gear position indicator. Number two, integrated writing mode indicator. Number three, electronic writing indicator. Number four, cruise control indicator. Number five, service indicator. Number six, tachometer. Number seven, speedometer. Number eight, dual function gauge throttle. Front brake pressure. Number nine, KQS mode indicator. Number 10, KEBC mode indicator. Number 11 is the multi-function display odometer, trip meter for A and B, lean angle, maximum lean angle, current mileage, average mileage, fuel consumption, average speed, total time, and the battery voltage. Number 12 is the coolant temperature meter. Number 13, intake air temperature meter. Number four, Bluetooth connection indicator. Number 15, is the clock. Now let's make our way to page 48 to show you the outside of the dash. Now as you can see here at number one is the left turn signal indicator in green. Number two is a right turn signal indicator in green. High beam indicator in blue. Number three. Number four is the engine warning indicator in yellow. Number five is the cruise control in white. Number six is a neutral indicator in green. Number seven is the KTRC indicator in yellow. Number eight is the ABS indicator in yellow. Number nine is a fuel level Level warning indicator in amber. Number 10 is a battery warning indicator in red. Number 11 is the coolant temperature warning indicator in red. And number 12 is the oil pressure warning indicator in red. Okay guys, let's quickly go over the handle controls of this bike. And we're gonna start from the right and make our way over to the left. This first long gray switch we can see here is the engine start and stop switch. Under the start and stop switch is a select button. Making our way over to the left here, you can see in the middle of the, what do you call this, the dash or the triple tree or the handlebar, you can see here the electronic steering dampener. Okay guys, we're gonna start from the outside and make our way in. And the first button we can see here is the mode button. So this is the up mode button, then the middle mode button, and the down mode button. And then when we go across to the inside button, we can see here the uh, cruise control. So this would be set cruise control, cruise control, and raise it higher and raise it lower on and off cruise control. Then under the cruise control negative button is the reset button. All right, if we make our way back out and down to the left, you can see here left and right turn signal button. Under the reset switch is a hazard button and under the left and right turn signals is the horn. Now if you make our way over to the other side of the handle, you can see the high beam dimmer and pass button. Okay guys, let's quickly go over some of the key features of this bike. This bike comes with an electronic steering dampener, Bluetooth, electronic cruise control, Kawasaki launch control modes, Kawasaki sport traction control, Kawasaki engine brake, and Kawasaki corner management. This bike comes with full LEDs, back and front. The headlight is LED, the turn signal is LED, the brake lights is LED, and, and the turn signals at the back are LED. Okay guys, it's time to go over the color of this bike. This bike only comes in one color, and that is lime green ebony. Lime green ebony. All right, let's talk about the price. This bike comes in two different prices. One is non-ABS and ABS. The non-ABS is $17,399. And the ABS version is $18,399. That is a thousand dollars difference. Then there's a destination charge of $460 and a freight and material charge of $400. Guys, remember, there may be a dock fee and a prep fee depending on the dealership you go to. All right guys, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. There are many things you could be doing right now, but you chose to spend this time with me and I appreciate that. So remember, keep your eyes on the swivel, keep the sticky side down, the shiny side up, and guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.